What are you doing? I'm writing. Like you'll be when you start punching those keys. Is there a problem? No, I'm just thinking. No. <laughs> no thinking. That comes later. Welcome to Eurolit's Top 3 Countdown. Today, we will be taking a look at Hermann Hesse's book, Fairy Tales of Hermann Hesse. Hesse is a recipient of the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1946, and in this story, he shows us a glimpse of his writing style and storytelling. This book consists of 22 intriguing stories that will definitely not disappoint to any reader who is looking for a quick read. We will look at three stories that truly show the theme of the novel, that the Inevitable struggles of life and society are necessary in order for one to change their perspective of the world around them. You will learn to think for yourselves again. You will learn to savor words and language. No matter what anybody tells you, words and ideas can change the world. At number three is Augustus, which is about a boy whose mom made a wish for him to be loved by everyone. This wish was granted through a mysterious old man. This comes across as a horrible wish for the boy because he ends up being a complete jerk. He is completely full of himself and develops no respect for anyone but himself. He comes, to not, he comes to not appreciate anything that he has received in his life. He eventually develops a moral and compelling outlook on life and through the struggle of living as someone who receives everything and gains his acceptance and finds a new outlook on the world. After the old man visited the mother saying she, he can grant her one wish for her son, she could not decide upon anything and became so distressed that she had tears in her eyes. Then the music sounded more softly and faintly, and she thought that if she did not make a wish soon, it would be too late and everything would be lost. So she sighed, in his left ear, my little son. The beautiful music was about to fade completely away, and she became frightened and said quickly, I wish that everyone would have to love you. This foreshadows that this wish was a mistake due to the fact she made this wish in a desperate manner but this wish became the sole reason why her son changed his perspective on the world instead of making it his victim. He learned to love and live with it as one. So what'll it be, Master? <laughs> You're gonna grant me any three wishes I want, right? Uh, almost. There are a few uh, provisos, a, a couple of quid pro quo. And coming in at number two is the dwarf. This story is about the princess, Signorina Margarita, who lives in a castle with her dwarf, Filippo, his dog, Fino, and a parrot. She has a pretty okay relationship with her friends, but she sometimes puts the dwarf in a cage from time to time. Then comes along a beautiful prince which quickly gets the prince's attention. However, he isn't very nice to the parrot and the dwarf. He kills the parrot and drowns Filippo's dog. Without the princess protecting her friends from the prince in fear of him leaving her, the dwarf takes it upon himself to get revenge by poisoning the prince. However, the prince makes Filippo drink the poison drink first and dies along with him. Through this tragedy, she changes her perception on the situation and goes a bit crazy. And sometimes, she sits by the railing of her balcony and calls out to each gondola or boat that passes, Save him! Save the dog! Save little Fino! This tragedy of losing her prince and her friend was a result of the neglection of the feelings of her friends. Although she regrets her previous actions, it was ultimately too late. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? God damn it. What do you want?